Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a short beginner's tutorial on how to use GetResponse. Before the tutorial starts, I'd like to just say that there is a link to a free trial of GetResponse down in the description below. So if you scroll down and hit that link in the description, it'll take you to a completely free trial of GetResponse. With that said, let's get on with the tutorial. So the first page you'll be brought to when you create an account on GetResponse is the dashboard right here. So what we're going to do now to get started is we're going to go to Tools, go to Contacts, and that'll bring up this page. So what we want to do is we want to go to Create List, and today I'm just going to I'm just going to call this Tester. So we'll create that. And then we've got our first list. You also have the option to add contacts, which you can do manually or copy and paste an external list in, but we're just gonna leave that for today. So the next thing we want to do is go to tools and go to email marketing. This is where we can now create our newsletter. So we're gonna hit that and that'll bring up this new page where we can do all of our creating. So first we need a title. So I'm going to continue to just call this tester for now. We can also add in our linked list, which we just created. So we'll hit tester. You also have the option to put in the email address you want to send from and also the email address you want people to reply to. So if you have a separate email that people can reply to where you have a separate person giving maybe customer support, you can do that. Um, but we're just going to leave that like it is for today. So if we scroll down, now we can go to the subject line. So for the purposes of today, we're just going to stick with tester. Then we go to recipients and we can add in our list again. And now to the exciting part where we actually get to design our email. So let's go to design message. And that immediately brings us up all these great templates that we can use. So I'm going to pick this one for today. And if you'll notice, just from hovering the mouse over this, there's so many different customizable elements. It's very easy, very self-explanatory. You can just type and it'll change the text. If we wanted to change the image, we could just click on that and then click replace and that'll bring us all these options for images that are given to us by GetResponse, so they're completely free for you to use. So let's see, I want to find one to replace my donut image. Let's see what we get. So I like to look at this one, so we just click that, and that will now be replacing the image and it's automatically reformatted it for us. So this is really easy. You don't have to have a lot of skills in graphic design to make your email look very nice because it does all of that work for you. Um, now, just to briefly go over, we've got some options here at the top where we can go to test and preview. So there's a couple of things here, but what I wanna just talk about is spam check. So if you hit that, that will immediately be able to show you if your email is going to show up in the spam folder. We're good to go though, so we can just move on. There's also the option to save and exit if you wanna come back to this later, but I'm pretty happy with this today. So we're just gonna go to next. And now that's put that email in here. We also have the option to send a test message, which will show us what the email looks like when it's sent. We also have this um, little section here down at the bottom that is not accurate, that is not activated right now. So for this to be activated, we would have need to put a URL link into the email. Um, once you do that, that activates this section, which allows you to do a couple things. One of them is you can see how many people clicked the link. So if it's a link to a store, you can see how many people uh, click in that. And there's lots of other ways you can track that, but that's a whole different other tutorial. So we're just keeping it beginner today. Then we have how we want to share it. So when would you like to send this message? We can send it immediately or we can schedule it for a later time and date. I'm going to keep it with send immediately for today. 
And with that all done, we can now click send message. So there we go. That is sending our first ever email message. So that was a quick beginner's tutorial on how to use GetResponse. If you liked the tutorial, feel free to give it a like and maybe subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more tutorials like this. Um, if you had any questions or suggestions about the tutorial, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget about the link to the free trial of GetResponse that we have down below in the description. If you just go down there, click that link, it'll take you to a completely free trial of GetResponse. But yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.